Do you want a quality of outcome or a quality of opportunity? Because I'm talking about a quality of outcome. But if you want what many feminists want, which is a quality of opportunity, I guess the question I have is, what opportunities do I have that you don't? Okay, I would say that this is how I would respond to that answer. Surprisingly based there, question for the panel, are you okay, a feminist can... and if so, what yeah. does that mean to you? Uh, we'll go around the table on that. Do you consider yourself a feminist and what does that mean to you? I do consider myself a feminist. Um, what, is what, is, it? what does that mean? A feminist to me means that it's, it's a recognition that there is inequality in the ways in which women and men are treated and that there's a history of inequality. Um, and it's the fight to reconcile those differences, not so that men and women are the same, but that they're given the same opportunities and so you think like women should be should have to register for the draft for example um because you believe in no. like equality between the sexes so you think w should women be able to be drafted for the military um no i don't i think that there's a difference between sameness and fairness i think sameness says yes women should be drafted in the military just like men should fairness is understanding that women can be taken advantage in ways that men will not be taken advantage of like sexually women can be Men are actually Have also us. can be just taken advantage of in that way too. So that's true. That's true. Um, but given like the history of what it is to be a woman, it seems like women have more abuse when it comes to that. Um, and women are also more susceptible and we're also like the physically weaker sex. Um, and so, yeah. And also our hormones are very different. Like in the way in which there's very, I don't even know if all the women here at this table really understand like the infradian rhythm like because we're not taught about our cycle and the different hormones that we go through in a 28 day cycle. Yes, we know about our periods, but we don't. A lot of us are just now learning about like the follicular phase, the luteal phase, like and how all of these different hormones affect our emotions and understanding all that. Like there's a lack of knowledge and understanding when it comes to being a woman in general. So, yeah. OK, to back up a second. Um, with your sameness and fairness thing, mm -hmm. to be honest with you, it kind of sounds to me like you want equality as long as it's benefiting women, but when it's not benefiting women and men can take the brunt of it, you're like, that's cool. Like, I'm fine with that. Yeah. How do you see that? How well, do you I mean, if, you know, that? if we lived in like a properly feminist world, uh -huh. uh, there wouldn't be affirmative action initiatives to mm -hmm. put more women in positions of uh, like workplace positions mm -hmm. and in academic positions. If we had a truly equal world, women, like I said, would get drafted into the military. Like, mm -hmm. I think if, if feminists want to truly fight for equality, it's like, put your money where your mouth is. But if you only want equality when it's benefiting you, then it's not, you don't actually want equality. You just want a world that benefits women more often. Um, so do you want me to specifically address? It just, I, I, it just seems to me like feminists want equality where it benefits them. But when it comes to actual equality, like working all of the roughest jobs in the world, for example, mm -hmm. that are extremely dangerous and mm -hmm. high risk, like when it comes to those jobs, feminists never want equality there. They only want equality in the places where it benefits them. But when men have to pick up the rest of the slack, they're like, yep, that's fine. Like, we don't want equality there. You go do that, men. You know, it's like, it, I, don't, I don't think you actually want equality. I think you just want ben more benefits for women. If you're defining equality as um, equal outcomes throughout society, equal outcomes throughout society, but you mean equal opportunity, or no, like we oh, all do the exact women same thing. About wanting, yeah, women talk about wanting uh -huh. equality throughout society, but if you're, I think equality is a tough term because uh, if by equality, like you're, where if you want, you, do you want equal opportunity instead? I think I, whatever you're talking about, like defining equality as, um, do you want equality of outcome or equality of opportunity? I would say that I don't think that women are fighting for, uh, okay. So do you want equality of outcome or equality of opportunity? Cause I'm talking about equality of outcome, but if you want what many feminists want, which is equality of opportunity, I guess the question I have is what opportunities do I have that you don't? Okay, I would say that this is how I would respond to that answer. Okay. 
I think that women were in a position for a very long time where we were being treated very horribly and we still are in positions where we are treated very unfairly and very horribly. Well, how so? well, well what, also, what evidence do you have that throughout history, broadly speaking, all women or most women were treated, I think, did you say poorly or unfairly? Mm -hmm. I think she said horribly. Horribly. Mm -hmm. Hor yeah. It's not clear to me if women were specifically because of their gender mm -hmm. or just because they were women or happened to be women that they were treated horribly. I mean, there were people who were being burned at the stake because someone called them a like witch. Like the Salem witch trials? Yeah, like that I would there say is unfair. There were also like men who were enslaved and forced into yeah. conscripted labor and military service that women were protected from. Yeah, I'm not saying it wasn't bad for men, um, but I would say that there are just, yeah. 